Oh, yeah, they're going. Look at how. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. Hello, everybody. Grace and Blaze, and we're back with more Bridge Constructor Portal, the game where everything gets slightly more masochistic with each level. Also, our computer is on now. Look, there's a little cake here and everything. I'm sure you guys know what that's all about. We did um, Under Fire. Now we have to do Under Heavy Fire because things get slightly, slightly more excessive each time we play. Under Fire. I'm trying to remember exactly what that was. Oh, this looks like a friggin' joy. Gladys, do you have anything for us? I think that she only appears every once in a while when something is completely out of hand. We've got like 65 billion turrets looking at us sideways. Uh, so what in the... Oh, okay, this is supposed to be... I got it. Okay, so these are little anchor points over here. We're gonna have to fly over here, pop out over here, come through over here? No, we'll get shot to pieces. Okay. So here's the plan. We go in here, we fly across here, we come out here, we create a little thing where we fly up here, knock all these over, pop out here, go into here, come out this side, and then somehow traverse in the opposite direction up to this. So what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to build ramps going both ways. We're gonna have to build a ramp to shoot us up here and knock all these over, and we're gonna have to build a ramp as we go from left to right to get up into this. Oh god, this makes me use my brain. Oh, this game. Okay, so we can set little spindly legs up over here. Ah, uh, oh god. Alright, so now from here, this should actually be pretty simple. All we need is a, is a very simple ramp. The only problem is, I don't know how much height we're gonna have to clear. So, we build this here, put this over here, all right, before we go crazy, let's see if this actually works. Hold on, let's just test it out one time with one guy. All right, buddy. You're the you're the chosen one. Freaking do this. All right, he's waving at us. Everything looks just fine. He's having a good time. His skull just got shredded from his entire body. Oh, mother of God, no. We know where this is going. Yes. Good. All right, we need a lot more height. Okay, this... Kind of looks like something that could potentially work. Drive the man across. I think we've got enough oomph to get us up this ramp now. Let's check this out. All right, he's flying. He's doing good. He's got... Oh, yeah. There we go, baby. Get them all. No survivors. Oh, my God. How are we going to do the caravan? Whatever. All right, and then our, our guy goes. He goes flying up, and we have a successful pass. Now, of course, we have to do the convoy here. We can't just allow this to stay as it is. Let's give it a shot. Now, I have a feeling like a lot of members of this convoy are going to end up dying in a massacre-like fashion. All right, here we go. First guy, knocking all the dudes down. And there is just... Oh, look at that! Total misses all around. Either that or the explosions from the sad little sentry bots over there don't actually hurt, harm any of our guys. And, like, freaking. The glistening snow dew on a crisp morning sun-dried tomato afternoon thing. We've spent $41,000. We did a well-done job. We got all six across. And I really think that we were fairly efficient. And that was a new thing. Someone said in a comment, they were like, Ramps. The best, like the coolest budget cut you can make. You're right. We're going to do all ramps. Actually, that's all this was. Well, it's not. Hold on. We actually had one area over here that isn't technically a ramp, but we could easily make this a ramp. Like, I, you could probably just go like this and then just take this out like this and probably take this out as well and take this out and take this out. Well, yeah, yeah, that would probably work. I think that would work. Hold on. There, now you have ramps all around. Ramps everywhere. Oh, yeah. Works perfectly. No big deal. You Would you still consider this a ramp? This is a ramp. I know it's, like, I know it's two-sided, but that still counts as a ramp to me. All right, one last success for the road. Okay, this one's called Fly Like an Eagle. Ah, uh, That's a lot of open ground, man. This test includes oh. the Aperture Science Aerial Faith Plate. It was used to test if applicants could resist the urge to catapult test vehicles. Yeah, that's, that's not happening. Have you seen my YouTube channel? The result... 142% of applicants couldn't resist. 
The additional 42% is from resourceful applicants who catapulted other testing apparatus in addition to the vehicle. That's actually what I was going to ask. I was like, is that people who just pressed the button twice? Or, alright, is there anything else? No, that's all we get. Okay. So, if your vehicle lands on this, it looks like it gets vaulted through the air. So, it's giving us an arc, but it's not really telling us much else. So, I assume all we have to do is just build, like, a little landing platform? It probably doesn't even have to really be that good. Like, we could probably just build it like this, I would assume? Hold on. Let's go ahead and lock this up. There we go. Put a couple of uh, cross braces in here for good measure. Uh, do we really need them? I don't know. Probably not. Not for something this small, I don't think. There we go. Like that. Oh, crap. Like that right... No. Like that right there. Uh... Oh. My... My ramp went flaccid. That's embarrassing. Okay, uh, let's try this again. You know what I haven't used in a while? The super string goo. This looks like it should work. I mean, it may, it may droop a little bit, but as long as we don't hit it too hard. I actually don't know how much tension these things can take. In the tutorial, it mentions that what these actually are is, I think it's, uh, shower curtains tightly wound together. That's effectively what we're using to hold the, the... The object that's going to be saving the lives of all of our applicants. This should just be a very simplistic suspension bridge. Check this beastly behemoth out I made. This looks pretty safe, actually. Let's go ahead and give this a quick test drive. It seems to be holding. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at how stable. Look at how potent. Ah! It's majestic. Oh, crap. I... <laughs> Part of me thought that this was gonna land more appropriately into this. I was completely wrong I guess we're just gonna have to make like a little ramp that that feeds our people into this. I Shouldn't have trusted this. I I knew better. All right. That should do it right there. This looks this looks perfect Oh, you can see the button at super slow or super close Right here. All right, here we go. Here we go. There it is, baby. There it is. Oh my god <laughs> What? Oh, we made it! <laughs> so that's the... <laughs> this is the type of bridge that only works one time. Um, okay. So, <laughs> these are not good enough. Like, I wish they were. But you have to use... Well, you don't have to. But for the purposes of completing the level in the appropriate fashion, we're gonna go ahead and do it. We're gonna use the, uh... The actual struts over here for us. Oh, I can't reach it. You gotta be freaking kidding me. I wonder if I can, like, bring this down and reach it. Oh, there we go. No big deal. There it is. Yes. Good. Okay. This should work all right. Let's go ahead and give it a... Nope. Flop right down. All right. Since the machine effectively landed, like, right here, this should be enough to hold everything up. Now, I know you guys like ramps. So, let's go back over here and make everything into a ramp if we can. Let's go ahead and bring this up a little bit like this. That should shoot them off and they should land right over here. Over here. <sighs> Making this into a ramp is probably not the best idea. But we're going to do it. Oh, can I do it from here? I think we may be able to hit this. If, if they just jump it like that. Will this hold? Yeah. It should be able to take a little bit of pressure. All right. Let's convoy this and see what happens. Here we go. Everyone's having a good time over at Jurassic Park like it's no big deal. There's a little bit of weight problem going on here. Oh, yeah. Oh, there we go, man. Oh, the bodies are flying. There's, there's blood spitting ass flying everywhere. Pieces of vehicles. Oh, okay. We got two. Oh, they're, they're going to go in. They're pushing the last one in. Get him. Get him. Yes. There it is. Five of five. I didn't think we would do it, but we totally got it. Five of five test vehicles delivered. We lost a couple of applicants. But you know what? Gotta crack some eggs. Over here, we have cube versus turret. 14 out of 60. There's a lot of things highlighted over here, so I imagine a bunch of sadness will be incoming shortly. See if there's any hints on this one. Fortunately, the vehicle ah. drivers are trained to stay on the road to success under extreme circumstances. Such as not being on a road while being bombarded with testing apparatus. Alright, I can already... Oh, okay. Oh my, look at all the freaking portals everywhere. Actually, there's not that many. There's only four. Uh... Okay, so there's a cube that has to come here, which does... what? Turns off the laser beam? I'm not gonna lie, I have no idea what the hell I'm starting on here. Uh, I guess the cube comes down here, gets flung across here, 
and takes this creature out. That has to be what happens. And then, like, it slides and hits this and opens this. So we have to go to this portal, to this portal, to this portal. And then where are we spilling out at? Oh, we're going to spill out this way. And we're going to go, okay, I got it. I Well, I think I have it. Okay. This is what I've come up with. So we've got a little suspension thing going on over here. Which brings us into a bridge that goes here, connects over here, funnels us through here. Lose a little bit of the acceleration coming down this way. Then comes right across the... I... I don't know, man. We're gonna see if this works at all. I've got a little bit of jump here for everyone. Because there's gotta be some ramping. There we go. Worked out perfectly. We did a little bit of a flip there. No big deal, though. Yeah! That's what I'm talking about. Oh, what happened over here? Wait. Total save. Total save. We freaking did it. Yes. One of three. We could totally do a convoy on this. There's a little bit of weakness right here, but I still think we're going to be okay. I could probably put an extra. Oh, mother of God. Oh, no. What have I done? None of them made it. All right. We're going to have to uh, maybe extend this a little bit. Convoy of sadness. Go. There we are. That's what I'm talking about. What is I don't hate you. Did you do this? <laughs> oh, no. Oh, God. No. All the bodies. Come on. Ramp it. Ramp it. You can do it. Yes. They're doing it. They're doing it. No. Why? And the wheel glitched through the floor. It was totally going to happen. All right. I've moved our sad little ramp so that it's slightly more floppy to the left. I don't hate you. I don't hate you either, little child thing. Yes, everyone. Oh, no. No, no, no. No, no, no. No. Wait. Wait. The bridge is broken, but it's still going to work. We got three of three. We got it. Right there. Everyone's having a good day. People are going home to their wives and children or, I don't know, whatever other significant other these sad little beings have. These little cardboard cutout beings have. We spent almost 70 grand to save lives. Propulsion gel. One. I like the sound of that. This sounds like it may require some sort of narrative. This test requires yes. the vehicles to drive faster than their safety limiters allow. Oh, yes. The orange Aperture Science Propulsion Gel is able to increase the test vehicle's velocity threefold. Let's As let's a side be fair. Effect, it also provides marginal increases to vehicle driver fun. Let's be fair here. This is what we wanted to see. We wanted to see all these vehicles somehow go much much faster. All right. So fun epic propulsion gel. Oh, it's just like jelly. That's, that's what it looks like. It looks like delicious frosting or something. Okay. That's fine. We do have a red beam of, uh, of sadness over here. Now, I think that the red beam... Uh, well, let's see. So, what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to lift ourselves up into here somehow? Yeah. Oh, it's because of the propulsion! The propulsion's going to give us the speed to wall climb, essentially. Got it. Okay, this is what I've come up with. I think it looks pretty good. I think this is gonna work. All right, let's see what kind of speed we get. Wow! Get some serious- Oh, that was- Look at that! Right there! Like it was no freaking big deal. Hold on. This isn't good enough. This is not good enough. We're gonna have to remove this. We're gonna have to remove this and jump it. You boys know. Hold on. Let's get some air. Right about- about like that. Actually, you know what? A little bit more air, just because I feel like it. Right there should do it to it pretty well. We're gonna do the convoy with this. Oh, God. This is already showing some red. Uh, alright. We're looking fine. Oh, everything's doing well. What happened over here? I missed something. Something gave way. We got three of five. Alright. We got extra reinforcements. Here we go. Extra reinforcements. No! It- Whoa! What happened? Did they do too much damage to that? To the to the one little the one little roadside that we have here and it just blows up on it? That must be it. What happens if I um So what happens if I lower it slightly? How about that? 
How about if I lower it? I can't lower it any further. I'd have to lower it right about there. How about that? And how about if we move this like a little bit more over here? Let's give this a shot real fast. I'm gonna get it nice and close for this. Oh yeah, they're going. Look at how. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, I shouldn't have done that. Nope. It's sadness. It's pain and regret. Everyone's broiling to pieces today, boys. So far, so good. So far, so good. No! No! Come on! We're gonna have four out of five. All right, I split the floor plan into two pieces. This should hold. This should hold. It's holding. It's holding. We're starting to lose pieces, but it doesn't matter. It's gonna hold. Is that everything? Yes! Freaking did it. There we go. All right, 54,000 spent. We got past all of the different lasers. We're doing pretty damn good. And we're on, what board are we on at this point now? Well, let's check this out. Board 16, Propulsion Gel 2.0. Because the first set just wasn't quite fast enough. All right, all right, you talked me into it. We'll do one more. Propulsion Gel 2. Like I said, the first one wasn't fast enough, I guess. The existing construction is an example of how to apply the principle of deflection, which uses anchor points that are not directly accessible. Oh. Oh, hey! Look, they're using the, the shower curtain rods or whatever they are. Don't forget that we have granted you unlimited access to the library of best practices to review other useful principles. I don't need all that. Gonna do just fine. Okay, so... We've got more ultra propulsion goo that's been slobbered all over the ground as it does. So what happens here? It looks like you just, what do you, go across here, up to here, go through here, come out here, do a little ramp, and then you're set, right? That's it. That's all it is. The only thing that we have to do is we have to make sure that we can, you know what? We can probably ramp this as well. What is this even for? What do I even need this for? I'm not even sure what I might need this for. Hold on. We're going to go up here. And then I'm going to... Well... Hold on. Let's uh, let's not quite curve it. Well, I do want a little bit of support structure here, don't I? Ah, it'll be fine. What's the worst that can happen? Now we're going to go up here like this. It's going to ramp right off. It's going to land over here. Get projected all over the friggin' place. It's going to be fantastic. Okay, the only thing is... We're gonna need, yeah, let's, yeah, sure, I'm gonna use this. We're gonna, can I put this here? No, it goes to the wall. Can I put another one down here like so? There we have it, yes! Got a little bit of a bow over here like this. Crap, wait, did that hook in? I think that hooked in. That hooked in. A little bit of a bow here to kind of help buckle this out a little bit. And now all we have to do is build our loving cross braces as we do. And everything should turn out okay, I think. Does this go up here? No, it doesn't. I don't think we'll be fine. It's, it's fine. It's fine. It's no big deal. All right, a couple chunks over here like this. Few like this. There you go. Have at it. And, um, yeah. I guess we can even put this here if we want. Can I reach up here? Oh, I can. Hold on. Can I put this here? Oh, can I put this here? There we go. That should get us a lot of support. Hold on. One of these... One of these, one of these, we're friggin' done. That's gotta be it. All right, go ahead and turn all this into appropriate shooty planks. Test it out real quick. Oh, floppy sadness. All right. All right, this is what I've come up with. I think it looks pretty legit, pretty simplistic. I basically just made a giant sad crane device over here that we can suspend a bunch of shower curtains from. Now, there is a little bit of sadness going on in this over here, so I don't know how well... Oh, it worked pretty good! As long as they can do a handstand, go through the chunklet over here, go fly through the air, we've got speed and agility, and we're friggin' set! Now, the big question is, if one man can do it, can a convoy of five do it? That I don't know. I have a feeling this bridge is gonna end up breaking down. Oh god, men are already flying off left and right! Come on, baby. Push on through. Oh, no! They're not getting enough speed! Bodies and sadness and, and chunks and propane tanks and everything are going flying into nowhere. And we get to watch in super slow motion as two more test subjects are slowly dissolved into sadness and regret. All right. 
I went ahead and angled ourselves up a little bit. Oh no. Oh no, 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 come on, push it, push it, push it, baby! Push it, baby! Yeah! We got it. It was close, man. I thought it was gonna fail, but right over here, a full five of five passing. We did good. Only 34,700 spent there. We spent more on this, or we spent less on this one than we did on a lot of the easier ones. I think I'm legitimately getting pretty architecturally sound. My engineering skills are slowly turning from garbage into like a D minus. Guys, what are you thinking about Bridge Constructor Portal? Like I said, feel free to let me know in the comments section below. Until the next time, folks, stay foxy and much love.